joining us. We do have a few special guests on with, well, I'm Janet Ballard, for those of you that may not know me. And you'll be hearing from my partner in crime and BFF, uh, Tammy Adams also. We also have a special guest, I think I just saw her, our good friend Jody Wilson, that um, is our national something, field, develop, trainer, whatever. She's our friend and um, she reached out to both Tammy and I and said, I've got this really cool gig and trusting Jody to know what a really cool gig is. She's been in the industry for a long time. We both said, okay, so here we are. Um, so again, thank you all for joining us. And we really just want to share with you a little bit about what we believe to be true about One Hope and their wonderful, wonderful wine. Um, One Hope has uh, a statement and that is that their one hope is to bring together a community that makes the world better through memorable wine and experiences. And so just to have a good flavor, to be paired with wonderful experiences is really what they're all about. Um, and they were founded with one simple idea that doing good, doing good is good business. So really super humble beginnings. There are, I think, five of them. And Jody can kind of correct me when I tell you all the wrong story. Um, but they started back in 2007. And their whole thing was to give back. Um, the, one of the owners, uh, Jake, super cool guy, uh, just kind of noticed that uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, oh, like Yo Play yogurt and, and different things always did like a, a breast cancer awareness thing in, in October. He's like, why can't we do this all the time? There are so many causes and so many needs for so many things. Why can't we do it all the time? And so, boom. The, the light bulbs went on. So he and his friends truly started um, in 2007 and really out of the back of a pickup truck. And selling wine was their mission and um, donating to causes and philanthropies, easy for me to say, um, is really where it all started. Uh, so their commitment to quality wine is as important to this causes that they support. Through this every sale of every bottle of One Hope wine, there is a cause attached to it, and we'll share a few of those with you. Um, but over the last, uh, however many years that is, 13 years, they have donated five million dollars across the world. Five million that's yeah, a lot of bottles of wine. Yes, can I interrupt you and introduce a couple of special guests that you didn't know were coming on? Um, I'm gonna start drinking. <laughs> I am so excited to introduce my friends and two of our founders, Tammy and Janet had no idea I was doing this, <laughs> Tiffany and Kristen wanted to pop in and just give you guys some love and say hi, so I'm so excited to introduce Tiffany and Kristen, two of our founders, to you to say hi to everybody. Uh -huh. Hi, everybody. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you for taking time out to join us. I'm a little overwhelmed, but grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us. We're so excited to be here. We're like, Jody, come on. Can we, can we get an invite to this? this is so I know. So, Tiffany is president of our company, and Kristen is um, goddess and guru in charge of all impact. I don't know your official title, so I just give you honestly. I really like the way you said that, so I'm gonna roll with that. <laughs> Anytime I can have goddess in my title, I'll take it, especially when I'm in like my Friday scrub. So sorry about that. This is I work <laughs> That's from home. Right. <laughs> no cats, go. <laughs> so so I don't know if you guys want to just like, uh, you know. Do you say, say hi or do whatever you want to do. Do our thing. Um, yeah, Kristen and I, um, it's really funny because she's wearing her Arizona hat today. And we went to the University of Arizona together once upon a time a while ago. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> but we didn't know each other there. We actually met when we started our first job out of college at Gala Wine Company. And so we started off in the business. We thought it was going to be a super glamorous job or I did at least I think she did too yeah 
Um, and we started working for Gallo um, and we started, um, you know, building merchandising displays and all that. And we were on the same team together. So we met and started cooking up the idea to start our own thing. And that was, let me see, 13 years ago. So we're still, we're still slanging wine just in a different capacity. And yeah. we wanted to make sure that we were sharing hope and not just wine, even though we loved everything we at Gallo. So and it's so fun how how much easier it's gotten to sell wine. Because when we first started, I mean, there really wasn't any e-commerce business really at all within the wine industry. So it's just been so much fun that people can order it on wine and get it delivered to their door two days later mm. and create such an impact in a custom way. So we're just so excited uh, to have you all learn more about it. Yeah, it's such an amazing time to kind of be a part of One Hope right now. Um, we have, we're experiencing this, so much growth with our wine club subscribers, our preferred customer program, our hosts, our CEs, all of that. So thank you guys so much for kind of getting together to, to learn about what you're going to be talking about today. Well, every day that I go on to try and get a good feel for this, honestly, I probably sh if, shouldn't have had time because the more I learn, the more it's like, oh my gosh, there's so much to learn. And really all we need to know is it's a fabulous wine and everybody wants to drink it so beyond that it doesn't really matter but thank you for sharing your story so very much um thanks for hopping on guys appreciate it thank you so much thank you so good to meet all of you hopefully we'll see you soon yeah sounds good happy friday bye guys bye bye thank you bye thank you, bye. Thank you. Okay, Jody, we'll uh, talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> I, well, I know if I told you, you'd be like, yeah. So I was, <laughs> we were so excited to just say hi to you guys and meet everybody. So back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> <laughs> and I think somebody's sharing their screen by accident. I'm viewing Kathy's screen. Oh, yeah. yeah, I am Jill. Give me three. Me four. <laughs> Uh -huh. if, you, if you want to unshare, there we go. That's better. Yeah. All right. Aren't they adorable? That's fun. So I don't know. I did the five million dollars. Um, there are eighty four thousand homeless pets have found forever homes. Um, three million meal, bleh, three million meals to children in need. Um, and I know here in the state of Michigan, with this whole quarantine shutdown, there are many communities that are, <sighs> I don't think I could ever do anything without getting emotional, but there are kids that literally being in school is like their safest place to be. Absolutely. That's and how it is up the north. Yeah. So the fact that we do this, and I mean, it's not nearly enough, but, but it's, it's huge. Yep. Um, and they've also helped funded more than 400 hours of research to uh, find a cure for PD mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is a few of so many different causes that we have um, that we're not even touching on. And I could go on for quite a little while, but um, we're going to get into a little bit of wine. So my friend Tammy selected a couple of her favorites. So I'm going to turn it over to her to share. Thank you, Janet. Thanks, everyone, for um, joining us tonight. This is so exciting seeing everyone. Um, I have the pleasure of sharing our um, sparkling brute. And I, if anyone knows me, they know that I love sparkle. So this bottle is really precious to me. <laughs> I didn't um, even I have, open yeah, it. Just see my shirt. I mean, hold on. There's, there's my favorite color. <laughs> Right. Love that. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so <laughs> this wine is, um, this particular bottle is really, really fun. Um, but I actually opened up another Brut Sparkling um, wine, which is the same as this. Um, I was, I just wanted to preserve this pretty bottle. So, um, I have a little bit in my glass and I so wish you guys um, were right here so I could really share it and you could get the whole experience of um, exactly what this tastes like. 
but I'm going to do my best to um, describe uh, the flavors and how to pair it. And um, just so you know, I don't know a lot about wine. I know what I like, and usually it's a red. Um, but with all of the materials in our um, back office and um, the information that One Hope provides us with, we can actually sound halfway intelligent maybe. Um, you can be the judge of that, but um, we have the ability to actually have our cheat sheet on the back of the bottle. So um, on the back of the bottle, it indicates um, like the acidity, the body, the sweetness, tasting profile, um, and what it pairs well with. So um, this particular wine, it reminds me of the Asti Tasti days way back when with the um, <laughs> champagne. <Yeah. laughs> but it's not quite as sweet, but it's really bubbly and it's just really, really good and refreshing. Um, so, so would you say like more of a Moscato? Um, yeah, but maybe not as sweet. But yet, I'm, I'm not real um, up on all the white wines. I mostly drink red wines. Um, but how they explain it is the bubbly One Hope Sparkling Brut is explosive in aroma of green apple, fresh pear, and citrus. So doesn't that sound refreshing? And it, um, the palate is fresh and dry with hints of citrus and lasting bubbles. So on the back, it also indicates what caused um, this particular bottle of wine. Um, a portion is donated to this particular cause, and it is to, um, I should just read it. I don't have my glasses. Um, <laughs> one in five children in the U.S. are unsure where their next meal is coming from, which is sad and heartbreaking. I know Janet uh, mentioned that, but that's one of my um, passions. I just, I really can't even imagine um, a child being hungry, anyone being hungry, but let alone a child. So um, with this, the bottle funds healthy meals to help um, end hunger. So you can drink and you can um, be sure that it's going for a good cause. So um, you might think about um, where you might drink this wine or take this wine. Um, I think it's perfect for picnics, um, for, uh, for birthday celebrations, wedding celebrations, anytime. So think beyond this whole social distancing and when we can <laughs> get together. I think it's a perfect bottle to take um, to your girlfriend's house and um, okay. have a little girl's night in. So cheers. 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 <laughs> but I'm going to turn it over to Janet and she's going to share one of her favorite wines. Well, actually, I don't know if Kathy, if you're done done sharing your screen, <laughs> sorry to call you out, but one of the, the advantages of being quarantined, but being my neighbor, at the last minute, I, I had a glass of wine delivered over to her door for her. So Kathy, are you on? Can you share what you think about our rosé? Okay. Nice. Maybe. Can you hear me? Are you there? Yeah. Can you hear yeah. me? It's all yours. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. It's Hi, good. <laughs> like it? I do. How would you, of course, none of us are wine connoisseurs. How would you describe the flavor? Not as sweet as I like, but it is not real dry either. It's kind of in the middle of the road. Like a Zinfandel? Look like Zinfandel? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go well, to the rose. Rosé has more of a uh, 
a muscular mm -hmm. yeah. flavor. Like it's I more wood, woodsy, I would say. I was expecting it to be a little drier. Um, actually, I was expecting not to like it, to be perfectly honest with you, because I'm with Kathy. I'm like a Moscato, really sweet wine kind of a person. Mm -hmm. But I really, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Um, this particular bottle helps educate women on their risks and symptoms of ovarian cancer. So, oh, cool. Right? Go figure. Um... Uh, great wines start with great vines. We harvest grapes from the world's most renowned grape growing regions uh, to craft wines that make an impact. The bottle makes an impact by supporting a charitable cause, providing you the opportunity to serve and celebrate through everyday actions. Um, what this pairs well with, I don't know, what did somebody, somebody was talking about a pairing today and it was, uh, adulting or something I mean you, I, I think the whole thing is finding any reason to drink wine and it will go with anything that you want to do but so, food, uh, food wise it goes well with pork ham uh, cheeses smoked the smoked salmon um, and I know one of my favorite things come summertime is a strawberry salad and so this apparently pairs very well with that um, our, our wine connoisseur, uh, Mari Coyle, said that you can rosé all day. So if you just are afternoon and someday our sun's going to come out and we're going to be able to sit outside on our decks and enjoy the sun <laughs> and just have a simple treat of having a glass of rosé, um, I think that sounds fabulous. So the best way to um, serve Rosé is chilled, so you want to keep it in the fridge and bring it out, let it set for about 10 minutes so that it, it settles in. Um, uh, the bubbles, there's a whole uh, sniff and swirl and sip kind of a thing that goes with, with uh, most wines, but with rosé, it has bubbles in it, so the bubbles just automatically make the... Um, hello <laughs> automatically make the aroma come to the top so and Mari was sharing and she had some really good verbiage and I did not write it down um, but in a in a true wine glass there's actually little little markings on the bottom and those when you swirl actually make the bubbles um, become more effervescent um, but she also did share, and I know I get all freaked out. Do you put a red in a in a wide mouth, or is it a flute, or what does everything have to go in? And Mari absolutely shared that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you drink your wine in. If you have a favorite glass, do it. If it's uh, a mason jar, do it. Uh, the one thing she did say is stemmed glass. It keeps your chilled wines a little bit cooler, a little bit longer versus your... Um, stemless so there's my tip for rosé for you Janet, what was the full name of it again uh this one is the one hope uh i thought this was part of our vintner line but it's the Cote de provence it's a rosé uh it's from france and it's 2017 was the year from our international collection. <laughs> Pretty yummy. I'm very, I'm very happy. Yeah, it is good. And Did so you know that, how, what do you call it? Rosé is the drink of the Hamptons. So um, <laughs> if you uh, vacation in the Hamptons during the summer, you'll find rosé is what they're drinking all day. Really? Mm -hmm. That's well, when I when I arrive, that will be where I will go to. <laughs> well, it just happens that I'm only an hour and a half away, so. Very cool. I'll stop my. Doesn't, doesn't yeah. mean I hang out with the affluent people. <laughs> In the meantime, the girls. I can say I'm going to the Hamptons. Hand <laughs> That's funny. From Holly, Michigan, to the Hamptons. Not really sure, but. <laughs> Appreciate the invite. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take it back to Tam, and I, 
I think from everything that I've heard and whatever that her next favorite is probably a company wide favorite. I could be wrong, but it kind of takes in a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of flavors that most people love. So take it away, Jim. All right. Thanks, Janet. Okay, so I have the pleasure of sharing the red blend. The red blend, oh my gosh, it is by far my favorite. And um, as I studied it, I figured out why. Because like I mentioned before, I'm a red wine drinker. And this is a proport that I can't pronounce that word, <laughs> a proprietary blend of several distinct grapes and three of which are my favorites. It's uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon, the Merlot, and the Zinfandel from the heart of California. Um, our red blend pulls its opulence and complexity from the characteristics of the three different grapes. Um, while the Cabernet and Merlot grapes are originally from France, Zinfandel is an American heritage grape grown primarily in California. After it's carefully blended, the wine is aged in French and American oak barrels. It further softens the tannins and produces a more complex finish. Um, as you taste it, you'll notice flavors of berry cobbler with a hint of fresh cracked pepper and rich flavor of uh, cocoa powder. So another reason I think maybe I like this really um, is the chocolate. Um, this pa pa uh, flavor pairs well with um, some of my favorite dishes as well, like grilled bacon burgers, berry pies, and maple bacon popcorn, which actually I haven't tried that combination, but I love popcorn <laughs> every way I've tried, so I'm sure um, that, would be good. <laughs> that, that would be good. Although we were in Frankenmuth um, a month ago or so, right before all of this isolation actually, and I tried different popcorns and I did try bacon. Um, I don't think it had the mix of maple, but it was really good. Yeah? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so this would be great by a fire pit with s'mores or after a long day of work or with your girlfriends or anytime, anywhere. I really think this is like the perfect wine. And apparently I'm not the only one because this rate wine has a rating of 96 points and won a prize at the California State Fair. Um, this caliber of wine could be sold for $100 a bottle, and we wow. sell it for $25. So that um, speaks volumes to me. Um, so this um, bottle actually... Hmm, I wrote it down, and I don't see it. Oh. Um, so every bottle gives back to Team Rubicon, which unites veterans and first responders to provide relief from natural disasters. So again, you're helping um, with a, a really good cause and, um, and you're drinking a really great wine. So um, if you like this wine, this red wine, you'll also love our California Cabernet Sauvignon, our California Merlot, and our Napa Valley Reserve Red Blend. Um, I think that pretty much sums it up. I don't think I tasted it. I know you're supposed to swirl, sniff, and sip. Yep. Tell me. I wish you guys could try it. <laughs> um, I just tried the Muscat Canelli, and for those yeah. who like a sweet wine or a Moscato, it's amazing. Is it yeah. really? Good to know. I actually like it better than that, that dessert red wine that I started out with. Really? Is that a white or a red? It's a white. What's it no. called, Barb? Uh, mus musket cannelli. Okay. Very, very good. 
And I'm going to share with you in a moment how you can get that uh, wine at a discount. It's one of our uh, specials this month. So um, I'm going to jump right into sharing three ways to join our community. So um, the first way is to become a customer and take advantage of our customer programs. We have a preferred customer program, which is really, really amazing to begin with all the time. But this month, it's even better than um, normal because um, it's a free membership for a year. Normally, it's $19.99. And what do you get with that membership? You get a discount on six and 12 uh, bottles of wine. So normally you would get 10% off of six bottles of wine. This month you get 15%. And normally you would get 20% off of 12 bottles of wine. And this month um, you get 30. So a uh, huge discount. We offer also offer half shipping so your shipping is ten dollars which is amazing for wine wine is really heavy mm -hmm. so i was really um impressed with that um so if you're kind of new to uh picking out which kind of wines you want we do have a couple pre-selected six packs and i did the math and it's the same price if you would pick it out yourself, um, but you'd get the um, 15 or you'd get the 15% off and um, they choose a nice variety of white wines and red wines. Okay. And actually the uh, one that I looked at, I would probably order myself because I like all of them. The three white wines that they chose are really good and um, especially the red wines. Um, so that's one, one option, preferred customer, really a no brainer, especially this month. Uh, another option is to subscribe. Now, um, what that is, you're subscribing to uh, a subscription club, kind of like you do with Netflix and all these different um, subscription programs. And it's an auto ship program. However, you have the ability to set how often you, um, you receive your wine, whether it's every month, every other month, every quarter, uh, a couple times a year and um, what you do is uh, you build your own selection and um, it consists of uh, you know I didn't write that down if it's six I know it's six but does it also include I'm sure it includes the 12 um, mm -hmm. yeah. bottles of wine too Yep. Right. No. Yep. Um, and your shipping is free. So when you subscribe, um, you get all of the perks of being a preferred customer. Plus you get free shipping. Plus you can set up for auto ship. Like I will probably set up auto ship for this red blend to make sure that I'm never without it. And I think it's a, a great bottle to, to take to um, friend's house when I'm uh, invited over for dinner or, you know, a hospitality guest, a uh, gift, or um, whenever you need a gift on the fly, right? Um, and then our last option is to join the wine club. So you have your preferred customer, you have your subscription, and then you have your wine club. Now the wine club um, you get six bottles of exclusive wines um, four times a year in their hand curated uh, delivery from our master wine guru, Mari Coyle. Um, each box will be seasonally appropriate. And, um, and these are her best wines. So whether you're clueless to wine or and have no idea what to try or you're a wine snob and you want to try them all um that this is a perfect club for you because um 
she only picks the best for these, for um, the wine club. Um, so you got that straight. I, it took me a long time to try to figure out the difference, but that's pretty much um, the for, for, uh, customer um, they can't. programs that we offer. Now, um, we also have a special this month. So while you can take advantage of all those other options, when you purchase six um, or 12 bottles, you'll unlock the limited edition three musketeer pack for $30. Um, that's a 50% savings. Normally $60, you're getting that for $30 and then um, $5 shipping. And uh, the great thing is there's no limit to that. So you can stock up for gifts. And um, what are the uh, three musketeers you might ask? <laughs> One is the musket Canelli, which Barb already mentioned is great. So thank you, Barb. I really wanted to try all of these so I can um, speak intelligently, but um, <laughs> I didn't. I haven't yet. So that's one that Barb mentioned. The symphony. Now this sounds delicious. It says, um, uh, let's see. The tasting profile is lavender honey, citrus blossom, and peach, uh, peach tea. <laughs> So that sounds like a great combination. And then this Bonnier, Bonnier, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I think it's close. This one I never heard of, but um, I'm trying to remember who commented on it in our Vicky Hartman. Vicky did, right. And I don't think Vicky's on. I don't think but, so. Um, she loves it, and then somebody else commented that they really like it, so this is a must try, and it says the tasting profile is thistle, flower, nectarine, honeycomb, and mineral. I'm not sure what the mineral is about, but... Um, healthy, Tammy. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Be healthy. Mineral is <laughs> healthy. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> Mineral gives it kind of an earthy, earthy, earthy. flavor. That's what I was going to say. I'm earthy. <laughs> Thank you. And <laughs> vignette. Vignette? Okay. Right on it. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so um, make sure you take advantage of um, our special. So when you go on and you shop, um, when you add, you, you can see how many bottles of wine you're adding. I love our website. Mm -hmm. And as you, once you get to six, you'll get that little pop-up that you qualify for the Three Musketeers. So that's great. Great feature. So you won't forget. Mm -hmm. So has um, anyone in direct selling ever heard somebody say, I love our website before? Never. Never. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's huge, you guys to do it. It really is. I gotta tell you, when um, I went on and looked at the website after we talked, I was blown away. I I just really was. It's just perfectly laid out, very informative, and then our back office is another whole story. That's just amazing. So very impressive. Okay. So we got the customer specials. Um, uh, your other option is to host. So um, while we're still staying in our homes, you might consider doing a virtual tasting like this. Um, I, I don't know how many friends have reached out and said, you know, gosh, I miss our girl time. I miss our girls night out. I miss seeing you. Um, so we have gotten together through, um, I almost said Skype, <laughs> through Zoom, Whoa. really. Um, most of the time, we FaceTimed a couple times, but um, we've gotten together with uh, multiple 
friends in Zoom. So it's something that um, we all really need and want, especially now, because we're just kind of stuck. Um, so, uh, so we could do virtual um, hosts. You could host a virtual party and um, that unlocks a uh, discount for you, as well as when you host, um, a portion will go to a cause that you choose. Um, one Hope has quite a list of great causes, so you could choose one of theirs. And then if your wine tasting gets to $500 or more, you get to choose your own cause. So maybe you have uh, 501c3 that's near and dear to your heart, um, like our local pantry or my church, you know, um, there are lots of local um, nonprofit companies that you could um, select as your cause by hosting a social or a tasting. I'm going back to Magnolia and Vine social. <laughs> well, <laughs> but it is. Have it's a a I have a gathering, right? I have a question. So yeah. Yeah, is it a percentage of the cost or is it like a flat, say the, the wine's $25, $5 automatically goes to the cause or is it like 10% or like, or does it like increase like as like hostess rewards do? Like if you get to $500, do they donate more the bigger your taste thing is? That's a great question. Um, it does not. The, the goal of hitting 500 would be that you get to choose from a nonprofit that isn't um, One Hope affiliated. So that's, that's one of the benefits by reaching that goal. Um, I also, you know what, that, that reminds me, I forgot to mention one of the beauties of being a preferred customer is at the end of the year, um, it keeps track of everything that you buy, your six um, but is that bottles, a good your 12 bottles, and then at the end of the year, <laughs> you can select your cause of what you, um, where you want a percentage donated to. So Maybe. that's another beauty of the preferred customer program. I'm going to jump in just one second. Susan, to answer your question, it's at 10% of cases and half cases, so six packs and 12 packs, um, and there's no limit. You know, okay. a lot of people are having $3,000 virtual events right now, and whatever um, six and 12 packs are purchased through that, 10% mm -hmm. of that is donated to a cause meaningful to the hostess. Okay. Awesome. That your question? Yes, it did. Yes. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about somebody tracking my wine order, though. <laughs> I can oh, look at that at the oh, end of the year and be that. like, "Oh, I have a problem." <laughs> Tammy, I have a question too. Um, I don't yeah. know if you or Jody can answer this. Um, I got a drink now, Barb. Keep okay, going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here's my question, and I I don't want to. I used to sell way back when wine shop at home and i had a problem getting hostesses to book parties with me because it was way expensive for them so and there was really not too much of an incentive for them to have a party mm -hmm. and um so my question is if you have if you get x amount of money in that you've earned and let, let, i'm just going to use this as an example you get 20% of your party and 10% goes to your charity and you get 10%. So you get to pick the wine that you want. Do you get to choose whatever bottles you want or does the company say these are the only bottles you can choose from? Do you want me to take that one, Tammy? Or do you Go ahead. That? I think okay. I know the answer, but I'll let you since um, you do well, know the on, You jump in. <laughs> We're all learning. <laughs> Okay. Um, partner, teamwork. Um, to answer your question, you, you can pick whatever you want. Okay, so that, that's wonderful. You can you know, buy a gift box, you can buy the sparkle bottle, you can buy a couple bottles of whatever you want. 
I, I that I appreciate because my last experience was not like that. They gave me, the hostesses spent so much money to do their tasting that I could never get people to want to host a party because it would cost them a, like a hundred dollars by the time they bought the food and they bought the wine and their tasting package and everything. And so, and honestly, my past experience is what is skeptical for me to go forward with this. Yeah, we're so completely different from the way that company works um, in many, many ways. And I've seen that so far. So yeah. I'm, I'm, ex I'm getting excited. I will yeah. tell you, I'm getting it's, excited. It's very different. There's no company like us out there in the industry at all. Uh, as far as our programs and our incentives and our give back, we grow our own grapes also, and we produce our own wine, which is very different. Nothing's coming from another country. It's all made you know, right here in Napa. And then we have shipping out of Kentucky and shipping out of California, so it comes really fast. Oh, I, I got my order in like three days. I was amazed. Right? Yeah, I was amazed. I know. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Jody. You're welcome. Okay, so um, so obviously, right now, uh, virtually is is um, the way to go. And like Jody said, that we are having so much success. And I, I was really blown away with the success that um, Janet and I. Uh, had in um, creating the event and getting people here. So thank you, you guys, for all all coming and helping us, um, supporting us in this new venture. Um, and then once all of this lifts, um, we're really going to look forward to get getting together live in um, your home and have tastings. And your friends are going to uh, really really um just jump at the chance to get out of the house i'm sure i know i will <laughs> and then our last um way to join our community is just that join our community join janet and i in this journey we're just so excited um to start this new chapter in our in our life and our career and um whether you love wine or you love giving back or you know that you need a plan B, um, yeah. this is a great option. And um, I know Janet's gonna really go over this in just a second, but I, I gotta say that, um, and I can't remember if I shared it on my little video clip, um, I really didn't think that now was a good time because of all of this with the pandemic and, and the uncertainty, really. And um, the more I learned, really, and the more I actually talked to my husband and he was um, supporting me and um, the more I realized that we're just sitting around the house and what a perfect time to, to learn a new business or just learn about wine. I love wine anyways. And um, so I, I'm just really thrilled and I'm gonna um, hand it over to Janet so she can go over that part and close out um, our tasting. Thanks, Jam. So glad to be doing this with you and with you too, Jody. and I appreciate your time to support us in all that we do not know. Um, seems like it should be so simple, yet we have a way of complicating things. So appreciate the, uh, um, the support. You've been 100% the whole time, so that's awesome. Um, so just a little bit about the income opportunity. Um, you're gonna make up to 25% in commissions. And then there's always team building and leadership options to thrive and grow through the company. Uh, but literally, you can make this your own. And One Hope meets you wherever you are, where, whatever you want it to be. Um, I was on a webinar the other day, and it said the best time to 
to make a plan B is not when you need it. And we have been thrown into, oh my gosh, what is the plan B? So to have this as a little side hustle to make a few extra bucks on the side is fabulous. Um, and I see the opportunity to make this truly a full-time income with very part-time effort. And I know um, like Tammy works a full-time job and has a lot of other things going on. Um, this truly can be worked in the crack of your busy lives. It can't really be done in your spare time, but it can definitely be done very, very part-time with a lot of full-time benefits. So keep that in mind. Um, and I don't know, you guys, I think the thing that got me the most was, well, a few things. It's consumable. So get somebody hooked on that favorite flavor and they're going to come back for it. I was going to say month after month, but it could be week after week. It could be day after day. I had a friend that actually figured out what she spends and what she gets in wine every week. She may have signed up for AA after she figured that out, but people <laughs> love wine. They love wine. And it's, I don't know, I feel like I've worked with a lot of companies that it was a very um, Magnolia and Vine. A lot of you um, come to us from there. It was like 55 and over. I mean, it was so pigeonholed to who our customers were. Everybody loves wine from 21 to 100. It's, and whether you drink it, you cook with it, you gift it, it's a wonderful thing. So, yeah, I'm just so, so incredibly excited about that. And the fact that every bottle gives back to a charity just magnifies it all 100%. Um, so again, make it what you want it to be. Um, and know that every time that you sell a bottle, every time that you host a tasting, it's giving back. And what a wonderful thing. And the beautiful thing is it doesn't come out of your profits. It comes right from One Hope. So we are just partner partnering with them. So why join now? Uh, this company is totally rooted in purpose. Come and be a part of it. Be a part of this. Um, home delivery has never been more important than it is right now. And honestly, that was before quarantine. There are so many, um, I mean, you can get a subscription package for your dog, for heaven's sakes. There's Stitch Fix, there's makeup, there's, um, should have written them down because they were all clear on my head when I was talking about it before, but it's just something that we all love to do. So to have that show up every month is super. Um, and while face-to-face -face is ideal, obviously we have this platform to do this and I can hardly wait, hardly wait to get together and hug with my girlfriends. And, and Tammy, I think one of her selling points was every time she gets together with her girlfriends, there's wine involved. Every party that I've ever done for the last 27 years, there's been wine involved now it's just wine. There isn't any other agenda. Just come and drink and sip and sniff and enjoy and enjoy your girlfriends and make it for a good cause. Um, but doing it virtually, I would, I'm not going to challenge any of you, but you know, it's like business on the top. How many of you have jam bottoms on the bottom? <laughs> this is so easy and so fun. If I showed you my outfit, you <laughs> I'm not glad to, but it's pretty horrific. But anyway, you know, how much better can it get than this? Um, and the specials, Tammy shared with you all of the all of the specials. Um, and every month they just do something more, something better. So that's just super fun. Um, and to get three bottles of wine at half price and be able to do that in multitudes, usually with any company I've been with, a customer yeah. special was a customer special. This you can take advantage of, you can gift more um, for a really great price. Um, community, some of my very, very dearest friends I've known since I started in direct sales 27 years ago, and many of you on here hold my heart that we've been through a lot of things together and I'm just so grateful that you've joined us tonight on the call and I would be honored to have you join us in the business also. Um, education, oh my goodness, the back office, like Tammy said, there's so much information, so much information. And I almost hate that there's so much information because the more I learn, the more I want to learn. And this whole wine gig, just pretty cool. There is so 
much to it. And if you get on a call with Mari Coyle and she starts talking about wines and notes and flavors and where it's harvested from and whatever, it's kind of just sexy. There's just something really, really sexy about it. And maybe it's because I've been in quarantine. <laughs> I might just be easily entertained. Um, but know that training is totally there. Um, and like anything in direct sales, it's flexibility. You're your own boss to schedule it when you want, where you want, how you want. Um, the rewards. Think about this. You get paid to drink. Right? Oh, oh I know. How no. Bonus. No, my um, problem would be if I, I might drink my profits too. Well, and honestly, when I first started, I thought, you know what? I can appreciate a glass of wine. I'm kind of in that sweet thing, a Moscato kind of a thing. But I thought, boy, for the first time ever, I'm not going to have a closet full of product. Because before, you know, you just had to buy because you had to wear it or you wanted to wear it or you <laughs> wanted to decorate your home or whatever the case would be. And I thought, wow, this I won't have to inventory. And I truly believe you don't have to inventory this. You can enjoy what you enjoy. And we might need to involve a 12-step program at some point in time, but that's a whole other sidebar. Um, but again, the fact that there are so many philanthropies, it just warms my heart to know that what we are doing is truly for a really good cause. So how do you get started? Right now we have a, uh, well, always there's a $99 offer where you don't get any wine. You just get paperwork and everything that you need to support you to get started. Um, but this month it's only $29. So that's cool. Um, for one forty-nine, you can get six bottles of wine. It's all curated by uh, the company, so they will give you what they believe are the best, uh, the best sellers, and the best variety. Um, the third one is one ninety-nine, and you get twelve bottles of wine. So uh, the packaging, I was so super impressed when I opened it up. I really wanted to do a live kit opening um but i actually have kind of been playing and dig digging into my bottles as we go so my kit didn't look quite so pretty mm -hmm. um but yeah just 199 gives you 12 bottles of wine mm -hmm. um so we're gonna provide our links in the bottom but somebody are in, in the links below um but what i heard someone say is that our hope is that you will redirect your spending from your local grocery store to One Hope so you can make a difference every single sip that you take. I'm going to flip my camera around and hopefully I don't catch myself, but I'm gonna show you, I think I can do this. Can I do this? Um, I don't know if I can or not, so I'll just turn it and I will hopefully show you. Um, what comes in our kit there is the red blend lower, janet huh go a little lower a little lower With your there, you go. there yeah yep. so you get the red blend you get the cabernet sauvignon my french is so coming out i'm so glad i took it in college um <laughs> pinot noir you get a uh, so this is Red Blend Napa Valley. I didn't realize we had two. So oh my God. the other. So good. So good. Yeah. So good. Uh, the glitter bottles, which are just amazingly beautiful for those glitter people in your life. What a wonderful <laughs> gift. Think of all of the things. Very pretty wedding that, gift, too. Right? Oh, yeah. Just think of all of the things that you can celebrate, truly. Uh, birth of a baby, a job promotion. Um, uh, I think we were talking earlier uh, with a real estate agent. Who do you know that's in real estate that wants to gift something to their new homeowner? What a wonderful way to do that. And we do uh, custom etching also. So if you have a wedding or somebody's promoting or a corporate gift uh, we do really affordable custom etching on the bottles and we ship them right either to you or to the event cool. that's very cool it's a great corporate that would be you angie yeah <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> my clients, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, so then you have a bottle of wine. <laughs> right, and then you can sign up, you can get your own corporate etching, and then you can make money on what you are giving. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And I was watching last night, uh, one of our superstars in the um, One Hope world, she was sharing that the bottles can be put in a box also, and they actually will um, do an insignia on the box for an extra $10. And I think the one that she had kind of shared was uh, uh, for a teacher, and it was like Mrs. Pope's survival kit. So whether it's at the oh. beginning of the year or at the end of the year, um, just a lot of cool things that you can do to personalize and make it just that really, really special gift for someone. I thought that was really super cool. No, is, um, is the personalization, do you get PV on it? Hmm. I, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I would guess, I mean, you even get PV when you buy your own product. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're buying samples for yourself or you know, buying gifts for a friend, that counts as PV also, hmm. which is pretty unheard of in this industry. Mm -hmm. And can I say, I just bought a case of wine um, kind of just before I knew about this company um, from a, a winery that we use a lot in Memphis, Michigan. So we'll normally we'll drive out there and go there. Obviously, we're not doing that now. So I ordered a case to be shipped, and it was more than the one ninety nine for the twelve twelve yeah. bottles that mm. you would get with signing up for this. I just thought I'd let people know that price wise, it's you know pretty reasonable. Oh yeah, it's like it's like what fifteen dollars a bottle for the one ninety nine. Oh, it's crazy. Like yeah, yeah. Janet, can I, I get in everything with, else? Can I pop in with a couple other thoughts? Heck yeah. Okay. Um, our av when when we're in real life, our average tasting is eight hundred dollars. So that is a really high national average, and that's national. I mean, it's a thousand in some places, you know, seven in other places, but it's eight eight fifty. And with that twenty nine dollar starter kit, you can start. You can buy your own six bottles of wine. That would count toward PV for you, or we can show you a way to earn six bottles for free with just um, a little bit in sales in your first month. So there's lots of ways to get involved. Of course, most people say I'm going to start with a 29 and then they end up with a 199 because it's so cool and such a great deal. Why not? Um, and what I love about this company, I've always worked with companies that only uh, work with women and only have female customers, jewelry, you know, organic skincare, which was um, really directed toward women. You are literally doubling your audience with this product, if not quadrupling, because not only do you have men and women, you also have the whole country that is interested in a product that either they can use for themselves or gift to other people. So I love that. And when you look at a consumable item, you know, makeup, which, you know, I love makeup, uh, vitamin supplements, oils, those take, you know, a good month, couple months to go through. This you go through in a couple hours of dinner. So, <laughs> so the rate of consumption is really darn fast with this product. Um, yeah, so there, there's, you know, so many ways to get involved and why not give it a try? I, I hate to say it, but if it doesn't work, you still have wine. You're right. making me back right away. And it's a really fun way to supplement what you're already doing. Even if you already are with another company, we don't have a clause against that. You're, you're selling wine and bringing wine and buying wine anyway. You might as well get a piece of that. And Jody, you made a really good point without making the point, uh, bringing the point home, is this is the first company that I have ever been with that, like when you do your fast start and you, you know, do the different benchmarks, typically you get like product credit so that you can get more credit. This company actually pays you in cash. Mm -hmm. So you can make some really significant cash right out of the box. And you have like, what is it, 90 days or more? 
to make that happen. So if you guys started tonight, you would have all of April plus the next three full calendar months. So really till mm -hmm. the end of July. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's pretty significant and it's pretty big chunks of change. Okay. And what's really exciting and none of us have talked about is the fact that we're blowing up right now. This company, you know how direct selling companies are like, boom, 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 boom. We're at the heart of our preferred customer program. I think we exceeded goals by like 630%. All of our sponsoring is way exceeding our goals. Our selling is way exceeding our goals because people are buying wine and they need extra cash right now. And they want to give back. Their churches, the local fundraisers, they've all had to cancel. And you can do a virtual fundraiser with just a simple link. So it's a really easy way to do good for yourself, for the community, and get some good wine. Love it. Love it. Love all of it. Love everything about it. I have a question. If you, yep. if you, if you have somebody who wants to do a tasting with you, what is the, I mean, let, let's say, I mean, I know right now we're doing everything virtual, but we're going to, we get past this and we're doing a tasting at, somebody comes up and says to me, okay, I'm ready. I want to book a tasting. What is the cost to that hostess to do this tasting? That's my good question. Do you want me to do this one, Janet? Or do you want to do it? Uh, go ahead. Uh, the, that's a great question. And we kind of have pre-COVID and COVID and post-COVID. Okay. So, so, and I'm, I'm breaking it up that way because you guys get direct selling and it's going to make sense to you. Um, in the past, a hostess would pick out whatever six bottles she wanted and it was 40% off and it would ship to her door. So you're not carrying anything to her door. Um, and then we're like, you know what? We want tastings to be free. So part of our fast start program, when you sell 300, which is a case and a half of wine, it's, you guys are doing that within days, it's insane. Uh, you will get a free tasting to gift to a hostess. Now mm -hmm. before COVID hit, we were changing our entire program. So when you sold 500, you would get a free tasting to gift to somebody. We kind of put that on pause right now because people aren't going out to see people. Once people are going out to see people again, we're going to revisit that and bring that back in. So right now, as we're not in people's homes, it's a little bit irrelevant. And then the goal is to get it back where those, those tastings will be free. But I, I can't say we're there today because we were, and then everything like, er. I, I'm just, I, for me, because I used to sell wine, it's a, it's a concern of mine as to how I can get people to want to book parties. Yeah, it's you're a problem for me in the past. Right, right. I, I totally understand what you're saying. Uh, part of part of the difference, I think, is the impact hostesses want. You know, sometimes people feel weird about booking a party, and if they know every single event is a fundraiser. That feels really good. Exactly. I, so I mean, that's what's making me feel good about wanting to jump in. So I'm. Right. We're we're giving back right now so one thing I to heroes, healthcare heroes, bottles, giving back to sending some out um, care packages to them. We've got a grant for moms in hospitality who are um, being furloughed or laid off. So we're gifting them money right yeah. now. So lots oh, of different ways for that. And then the, the edge, Jody, I'm on the edge. <laughs> well, you know what? Just bar. Just do it, right? Get off this freaking edge, dude. There's no That's reason not to. <laughs> There is no edge, Barb. There is no yeah, edge. I know, Janet. I know. <laughs> no, Barb, to address your issue, I've sold wine in the Alco, so I know where you're coming from with that. And I truly believe that after we can be unquarantined, it, it's not even going to be an issue. People are going to want to socialize. They're going to want to get together. It's not. It's going to be a non-issue. We, we, have, we have new alcoholics developing as we speak. So. Exactly. I can relate to that. Go. 
it. I'm just not sure whether my first meeting after the quarantine is going to be Weight Watchers or AA. I haven't decided. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oh, <laughs> we need AA Weight Watcher group. Can you guys hold up your wine glasses? I want to take a picture of you. Oh, I got, I got coffee. Sorry. That's all right. Hold up your coffee. Do a cheers and everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> now I'm, I'm the only girl on the call. It's worth buying. It's really worth buying. <laughs> we we oh have a here at One Hope, which is why not? Exactly. I love that. Why not? What do you have to lose? Nothing. There is no, there's no loser. Absolutely not. Does anybody else have any other questions, any concerns? Um, anything we haven't addressed? I feel like we've kind of covered it all, but certainly don't want you to walk away going, huh, I wonder. I know. <laughs> Janet, I think we have a gift <gasps> we're going to talk about, and I have a special gift to uh, everyone who joins Janet and Sammy's team as well, which is, you guys know the fun of convention, right? We know what it feels like to get together, um, to, to share in that. So this year, my gift to this team is uh, convention registration is free for anyone on Janet and Tammy's team. Yeah. Don't tell don't tell everybody that because I'm gonna get no, tell them. <laughs> but that is my gift to Janet and Tammy. Where do you guys go to convention? It's going to be in Scottsdale end of July or virtual end of July, but virtual. ideally it will be in Scottsdale end of July. We'll know more. Oh, Angie, Angie, are you ready for a road trip? Um, sorry guys, I'm going to be, I'm going to be investing a quarter million dollars into a business around July, so I'm going to have to pass on convention, but thank you. <laughs> I might have to too, because I have a wedding and something yeah. else going on at the end of July. Well, a wedding is still happening. So is everyone joining Janet and Tammy's team tonight? I'm in, Sherry. We need to go. Come just on. Do it. We just post the pictures. Come on. Hugs. Hugs. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin and I are afraid if we go to Arizona, we won't come home. Uh, <laughs> right? yeah. We need people right. there. We, yes. we need people all around the country. Billy, it's time for you to retire anyway. What the hell? Whoa. In July, <laughs> hopefully. Glad to meet you. I've known your husband how many years? Come on. Tell us it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you going to join the team again? It's been a while. Me? What was that? Susan. Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm all about joining. Awesome. Yeah. Yay. Woo. Yay. Because I know that's that I'm a drinker and I'm just afraid of drinking my profits. That's my problem. That's <laughs> the only problem I, I did the last <laughs> time with the other company, but I'm going to change my ways. So two things. One, when you sell 300, you lock, unlock an extra 15% discount on personal purchases. And um, two, there's a lot of ways to get it for free. Mm -hmm. And three, you get a great discount. And it counts toward your personal volume. So you're good. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bonus for you. The first three of you that sign up in the next 48 hours, we will send you a glitter bottle that are so good. I'm first. Yes. I'm first. <laughs> Get on it. You can declare who, who number said, one. Who said they're first? No. I need the link. No. Sherry, I'm first. No. I'm like, Sherry, we're going to fight. We're going to fight, Sherry. Don't, don't say it's you. <laughs> we can be first and second. Okay, first and second. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> All right. If five of you want to do it, Janet, I'm going to extend it to five in case two other people are I'm ready. Like right now, I need. I know, Bar. <laughs> Come on, Tammy. Give us. Give me a second. <laughs> You're not quite Tammy, I can't find your. I think you sent me the link. I can't find it. I don't okay, know. I will message all of you guys. 
I just the links to jump the over links. there. I don't, if I don't get this, I'm going to be really like upset. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, wait, wait, I do have another question. So with the $29 thing, okay, um, I'm because I'm all about earning the quick start or whatever you want to call it. Yep. Um, is your website active immediately? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, is there a monthly website fee? Yep. Or? It's 99 for the year, 12 for the month. Okay. Either or, either 99 or you can do 12. And if you start doing 12, you're like, you know what? I want to save the money. You can convert it to the 99 mm -hmm. the customer support. I just found that out, Janet and Tammy. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. And, um, and can someone screenshot me the quick start? Because I need to get working on that. Because <laughs> if I have to compete against Sherry, oh my gosh, I got my work cut out for me. Oh, stop. Stop, Miss Superwoman. Girl. You are like Superwoman. You know, it's friendly competition. You guys are just going to keep each other on <laughs> your meditation partners. Exactly. I think we have a room full of overachievers, and that's <laughs> fabulous. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. You guys, Janet and Tammy, do you want to put your links in the um, chat box for everybody? Uh, it's on the, uh, it's on the Facebook page. It's on the Facebook yeah. page. Yeah. 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 And I just messaged you, Barb and Billy Jean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy talking to handle business, but yes. <laughs> yeah. I personally love the 199 kit. Um, just yeah. it's got, I mean, it, it's for me. I think it's worth the money. It doesn't matter. I just want you guys, every single one of y'all, to be part of this family and just show this company what we're made of. It's exciting. Well, the leadership is amazing. We already know. Yes, we know that. So that's a no-brainer. That's exciting. Oh. Part of my job, which you guys know, is half my job is to you know, bring in amazing leaders like Colleen and Tammy and Janet and... and and all of you, Sean, you better join because I don't want to see you, see you missing out. Um, but it's going to be great. And the other part of my job is to do what I did at Mac and Vine as far as those great incentives and recognition and uh, we're, you know, all those fun things that you love. That's the other half of my job. So I get to learn from what worked at Mac and Vine, get your feedback, and make our company, which is amazing, even more amazing. So that's exciting. Well, and I have to just say I'm super impressed that the two girls, Kristen and yeah, Tiffany, Tiffany, thank you, uh, jumped in. That's that's pretty awesome. That's really awesome, actually. That was sweet. Yeah, I wish I had jumped on now because I'm like halfway into a bottle of rose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Hey, so I'm, 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 I need some help. Huh? Hey. I hit the founder for the company. Took me to a good evening, Barbara. Copy link. <laughs> that means you're in. You're, in. I mean, right? It's... It does it say um, yeah. your name? Good evening, Barbara. Copy your link. Fast track tracker. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <yay! laughs> <laughs> whatever, Barb. Cheers. <laughs> oh, Come on, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Come on, Sherry. Or this one. Or I don't know. Got me. I'm hooked. And you guys haven't seen this yet. Can you see? I'll drink to that. Like, oh, that's awesome. Ooh. Isn't that's that awesome. beautiful? That is. Oh, so when, when you read I can't see nothing. I'm too busy signing up. Wait. <laughs> Susan, I knew it. When you register for convention and make sure I give you the special code. That's part of what you get. Jen and Tammy and Colleen, they didn't even know that yet, but that's part of the early bird swag if you register Ooh. for the convention early. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got to change screens. Hold on. Wait a minute. Show again. <laughs> so, so Jody, will you send me something about registering for a convention or what's going on here? Yeah. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. I missed it. Awesome. Awesome. Oh. See, it's got the engraved sign and it says crush and it says... Oh, Breakthrough is our theme, 2020 Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, I'm so excited. 
No, is it different places every year? Yeah. You know, you knew that I was going to do that. Well, that was because Angie sent me a text to answer that. Oh, and when, okay, I'm going to throw, I'm going to hate you. I'm going to throw down. There's special <laughs> challenges here. Um, and we're going to, we're not going to inundate you with information, but think about what you want to do, where you want to go. And we're, we have an extra $200 bonus in um, April or in May based on a promotion that Janet and Tammy will tell you all about. So, I mean, you guys, the cash oh immediately God. in your pocket is phenomenal. So. Yay. I would say. Oh, I was kept it in there. <laughs> So who's next? Who's going to be on there next? Susan, oh, are you on? Well, I'm already on my computer for this, so I can't do it yet. We're off. Oh, got it. I'm in the middle of signing up right now. Whatever. <laughs> you so people fun. that have like two two things open. <laughs> Where do you guys so mostly fun. live? Where do y'all live? Uh, I live in North Philadelphia. Did you know Pennsylvania just made alcohol non-essential so they can only get it from you now? Well, they um they still sell wine in the grocery store, wine and beer, but mm. you can't get liquor. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I think it's essential. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You can still you can still get wine and beer um, at the grocery store, but they have a crappy selection. Yeah. yeah good stuff. All right, where else do you guys live? Uh, Michigan. Outside of Michigan. Detroit. Got a lot of Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in Roscom and I'm near Higgins Lake. All right, as soon as I can get out there, we're going to do like a team hug. Well, yeah. yeah. And I'll be honest, I'm an hour from Traverse City. So yeah. my biggest competition with wine up here is Leland Awe and, uh, and Old Mission. So. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That we've got we've got some pretty heavy hitters in terms of wine. Yep, signed up. Deliver to your door, Napa Valley wine. Right, I'm signed up already. Yeah, let's go, Billy. Who is that? <laughs> so and, 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 I just sent you the link. Thanks, Dal. I'll put the order in. So thank guys, you. I got, you're welcome, guys. I got to get off. I've got another call. I've got to do. So it was really nice talking with you guys. We'll talk soon, okay? Angie, let's uh, talk soon. Care. All right. Great. Nice guys, meeting you. Well. Take care. Thank right, you. Hold up lines. Yep. <laughs> I love that we have crazy friends. All right. It's All right. Awesome. So, Angie actually well, graduated in, from I'm high school with Kevin. To my back office. Yay, Susan. We should maybe we should do like a little team training thing over the next couple of days so these guys know how to. Amen. Cash. <laughs> Will there be wine? Is there, is there, are there rules about oh, posting on your, your personal feed? No. Okay. And, and if I decide to do a virtual wine testing in the next couple of weeks, Tammy and um, Janet, will you guys help me with that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. You mean and you too, Jody, that, of yeah. course. In fact, we can do a combined one again, if you that guys would, would like. Yep, that would work. Well, that's a fun idea. Everyone can bring their own people. Yeah. We can yeah. see Mega. Apart. We could meet in a, a community place six feet apart. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> we did that, you guys. Kevin's, Kevin's 50th birthday was a couple weeks ago. And we felt really bad because we were supposed to go out of town and have a, you know, celebration for his birthday. And we couldn't do anything. So one of the girls he works with drove over here. She lives close. And her and my neighbors came out. We all brought our own whiskey. And we sat six feet apart in our parking lot and drank for his birthday. That's awesome. That's you know what awesome. you can do? You can set a table out with little mini cups with each wine out there and let your you friends drive by. We were doing that with whiskey, but well, yeah, you, that would work too. Let somebody drive them and they reach out the window and taste it. Don't let them drive drunk. That you know. Yeah. Oh my God, I love that. Yeah. A drive-by wine wine tasting. Oh, yeah, drive-by awesome. wine tasting. <laughs> and then they'll just say, "Hey, I want this one." Oh my God, I love that. I think Colleen awesome. Bird dropped little mini bottles off at people's houses. Oh, I Kid, love <laughs> I love it. 
Yep, I did. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't see me or anything. Oh, there. Hi. Hey, trying to get my link. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. So you did that and, tasting set for people. Yes, and they're loving it, and I'm delivering four more over in Minnesota tomorrow. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Very cool. All right. Well, my Bye. phone's about to die. I will see you guys later. I got to go sell some wine. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> All right. Hi, Bye, Susan. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, right. Sean. Hey, Nancy Kiss. You are late to the You're party. You're quiet. Guys. Questions? You jumped into the madness of hey, it no, all. Hi. <laughs> no, hi, just Sean. Hi. I miss you. I miss you guys, oh, too. So oh, so great. Uh, you guys. <laughs> Amazing. It, it, I, I hate to say this, ladies, but I'd rather sell wine than jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd rather drink than sell jewelry. So Colin, are you joining us? I'm thinking about it. I am. I'm really thinking about it. I'm trying to convince Ronell now. He's like, okay, really so many businesses. Back in the day, you did a no inventory, no delivery. So come on. Worst case scenario, you have wine on hand. It's your no. worst case scenario. No inventory, no right. deliveries, no. No, you can <laughs> still drink the wine. Hey, Jody, I have a question. Yeah. How often do they come out with new flavors? They, it, it's a pretty set catalog because it's wine, right? So it tastes right. like a couple years. So uh, the, the new catalogs come out quarterly and mostly they change the, uh, the look of it for seasonality, they change the recipes, they put in, they profile new hostesses and sales reps. Um, for, uh, they do add in new wines, for example, Mari's Wine Club for this season. They have a really gorgeous bottle. I'm gonna sign up for the wine club just for it. There's only <laughs> 350 that were made or something like 380, some random number. And they each bottle is etched like one out of three fifty, oh, okay. two out of three fifty, and that bottle gives back to water restoration, and okay. it's a beautiful like hologram label, and it's as Janet said, I'm stealing your word, super sexy. Um, <laughs> so, and the reason why I asked that is because I've noticed like my wine preference and taste. There's not a big variety. It's the musket right. Canelli or I'm I'm screwed. Right, right. Pretty much. Yeah. So you're good. You're good with your musket because we're not we're not changing it out. It's not like a million skews leave and a million come back, which makes it really easy. I'm a I'm a, I'm a Riesling person and when you go on the website you see Riesling and then there's nothing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing for it. So I was like, okay. But oh, yeah, I like Riesling I've too. Learned, I've learned, I've yeah. learned, okay, I've learned from my previous wine selling that um, right. I need to, you know, taste right. other things and improve my palate. Yeah. And even the, um, the dessert right. wine is not that bad. I can handle it, but yeah. it's not my favorite. Oh, we do. We have a Riesling. It, it, uh, it gives back to literacy. And it's twenty dollars. But when you go online to order it, it's not there. Uh, I can't answer. Okay, Maybe I know. I know. I know you. I know you can't. I'm not. I'm, I'm not, not one of the people who go. Well, wait a minute. Ba 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 ba. You know. Yeah, it is, but, but, but it's there, so it will come back if we don't okay, have it cool. now. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, they we know, have the Moscato, the Chardonnay. This Canelli has sold me. <laughs> Ladies, can I just wish you good luck? I am looking forward to ordering, and I'm going to be out for the night. Take it easy. Good night, Cheryl. Thanks for coming, Bye, Cheryl. Cheryl. So good to see you. Bye, Cheryl. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce off and let you girls just visit and hang out. Thank you so much, Janet and Tammy, nice for inviting me.
Thank you. Thank Hi, you. Jody. Thanks, Jody. Thank you, Jody. Right, whatever capacity it is, thanks for being part of our family. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Tammy? Yes. Can you, can you, can you get 12 bottles of wine and try it. Because I feel a little yeah, uncomfortable like that everything that showed up that I was there, but it didn't ask me for any payment information or anything. So I'm a little uneasy. Okay. Okay. That make, you that paid make, for it, right? I, it didn't ask me for any right credit card. card information. So does I'm, it still have your information from when you bought it before? Maybe. Maybe. maybe oh, that's a good point. Maybe because you said you already bought some. I did already buy some, so maybe. So if you can check into that. Okay. To make yep. sure because I because it did ask me for my credit information, my card information when I yeah, and I, it, I, it did mine too. I bet that's it. Good point. I'm like I'm um and even and I've been drinking. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, you have. If, if you don't get back with me tonight, call me tomorrow yeah. and we're good. Or over the week, <laughs> I don't care. Oh, I for sure. For you. sure. <laughs> oh my God, I, I'm seeing all these faces and I'm like, I know, I love it. Don't hug everybody. I'm like, I know. Oh, hey, Cheryl and Karen. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming, you guys. It's so good to see you. you. Did a great job. This was amazing. Hey, you guys. I'm going to step away for a hot second to go uh, kiss up to Ronell and see if he'll give me his credit card. I'll be right back. <laughs> you know what's funny, Tammy, is I look at this and I think, you know, we all... I mean, for the majority wine? of us, we probably drink wine and in the evenings or throughout the day or whatever. Now we're probably all becoming like, like, or for <laughs> breakfast, at AA or whatever. But <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock somewhere, but it, it's just so fun to be connected to all of us in something that we enjoy doing every day. You know, right. and yeah, right. I mean, Tammy, you know. The Tokara jewelry thing with me has been a nightmare. Mm -hmm. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, it's been a nightmare. And and I love cool. some of their uh, stuff. Right. I have one necklace I'm wearing every day because I love it. But this is something that yeah, right. I do on a daily basis. So why not sell it? Right. Why not sell it? Pretty much a no-brainer, huh? Exactly. And, you know, actually, I'm probably much more of a whiskey drinker than a wine drinker, but most of my friends are wine drinkers. There you go. Jean, you can do this without a heartbeat. Yeah. Yep. And I mean, I drink wine, but I drink whiskey more than wine. <laughs> Especially now that I'm addicted to the peanut butter whiskey. Oh. oh. Yeah. So oh. what do you say, Sean? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Did he give it to her? You got okay. that credit card? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's <laughs> awesome. I feel I mean, like I don't want you to help me with my first wine tasting, please. Oh, not a problem at all. <laughs> I remember your wine tasting, Sean. We uh -huh. had so much fun. That was I, know, I bought way too much food, didn't I? Yeah, you <laughs> did. Oh, yeah. It was oh really my good. Gosh. Sean. It was really good. <laughs> Where's Debbie, by the way? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, she was supposed she to be needs, here. Oh my gosh, uh -huh. she needs to get in on this. I know. Oh. Oh. Damn. Damn. Yeah. She quit recording this oh right okay good point all right ladies i'm gonna log off because i'm gonna um get on the